Oh, they went. Oh, sorry. simple this is actually one of his classic songs in this time when we all get together um, uh, but in many cases when the role is called up yonder I'll be there we ended the service with it we are continuing with that song at this point in time when the trumpet of the Lord when the trumpet of the Lord shall sound and time shall be no more when the roll is called up yonder I'll be there when the saints of earth shall over on the other shore when the roll is called up yonder i'll be there oh when the roll is called up yonder when the roll is called up yonder when the roll is called up yonder when the 
when the roll is called up yonder, I'll be there. When the roll is called up yonder, 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 I'll be God, as the scripture says, is our refuge and our strength. So in these times when we know it is difficult to let go of the body, we hold on to the spirit, we let go of the soul to God, and we release the body from its earthly dynamic. Let us bow our heads in prayer. Let us pray. As a father pities his children, so the Lord pities we who fear him. He knows our frame and he remembers that we are dust. So we come, as the word says, and reminds us that we shall return to the dust. We come as this family. We come with a believing community. And we recognize that one day we flourish and another we are gone. The wind passes and it is gone. But the one thing that remains is, a, is the love of the Lord from everlasting to everlasting. So holy and righteous God, bind this family together. Grant them strength to press on. Guard them in their going out and in their coming in. And give them eternal peace. Hear us, for we declare it in Christ's name. Amen. I wanted to do something in particular that this family knows quite well. And I know they don't need it in particular. Shall we say Psalm 91 together, please? Psalm 91. It's a reminder and he taught this, his family this psalm as a protective psalm. He taught it as one that reminds all of us we are called to hold on to that truth. Psalm 91. Whatever translation you know it by, I know some of us know it by the King James. You can use that. You'll be using, I'll be using the English Standard Version just for the understanding of all but I invite us to see it together. He who dwells in the shelter of the Most High will abide in the shadow of the Almighty and will say to the Lord, you are my refuge and my fortress, my God in whom I trust. He will deliver you from the snare of the fowler and the deadly pestilence. He will cover you with his pinions and under his wings you will find refuge. His faithfulness is a shield and a buckler. You will not fear the terror of the night, nor the arrow that flies by day, nor the pestilence that stalks in darkness, nor the destruction that wastes at noonday. A thousand may fall at your side, ten thousand at your right hand, but it will not come near you. You would look with your eyes and see the recompense of the wicked, because you have made the Lord your dwelling place, the Most High, who is your refuge. No evil shall be allowed to befall you. No plague come near your tent. He will command his angels concerning you to guard you in all your ways. And on their hands they will bear you up, lest you strike your foot against the stone. You will tread on the lion and the, other, the young lion and the serpent you will trample underfoot. Because he hold fast to me, I will love and I will deliver him. I will protect him throughout all things. And when he calls, I will answer. I will be with him in trouble. I will rescue him and honor him. And with life, I will satisfy him and show him salvation. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be. The salvation of God is on our brother. The salvation that moves from dust to life. The word of God says, into God's keeping, we commend our brother here departed. We commit his body to the elements, earth to earth, ashes to ashes, dust to dust. And we trust in God's mercy by which we have been born anew in the living hope of the resurrection of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. So by the Spirit of God, we let go. By the grace of God, we hold on to. And we pray that in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, his being will rest in peace 
in the name of God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. Amen. So as the process, at this point in time, the process of us and our last tools who are assisting and the attendance will begin. So as they begin, I invite us to just step back, take one step back if you can. You will hear me begin with some scripture and continue reading scripture throughout this entire period. Fear not, I am the first and the last. I am the living one. I died and behold, I am alive forevermore. For I have the keys of death and Hades. Revelation says, they shall hunger no more, neither thirst any more. The sun shall not strike them, nor any scorching heat. For the lamb in the midst of the throne will be their shepherd. And he will guide them to springs of living water. And God will wipe away every tear from their eye. And as the scripture reminds us from John 11, which we heard, Jesus said, I am the resurrection and the life. He who believes in me, though he die, yet shall he live. Whoever lives and believes in me shall never die. He showed me a river of water of life, bright as crystal, flowing, flowing from the throne of God and of the Lamb through the middle of the street of the city. On one side of the river, the tree of life with its 12 kinds of fruit yielded its fruit every month and the leaves of the trees were for the healing of the nations. There shall be no more, there shall not be accursed, but the throne of God of the Lamb shall be in it, and his servants shall worship him, and they shall see his face, and his name shall be on their foreheads, and night shall be no more. They need no light or lamp or sun, for the Lord God will be their light, and they shall reign forever and ever. We're gonna use the well. We're gonna stand. So I'll ask if I can have the daughters as well. Go ahead, please. Yeah, no problem. They don't want any Santa, right? Ready? One come on the side. One come here, one come here. Come on the side. We're gonna. Don't worry, don't worry. Help those ladies as well because I know we will need the assistance. It's just to put it in. This is a final moment. We are letting go. Yes. Yes. What's on the foot? What's on yeah. behind you? Yeah. Push it in. What do you count? Fire? Stop. Yeah. Thank you. 